Clutch Sports Podcast, DJ Swer De Niro, Toot Toot Trill, M Dollars, Coach G. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow us on Instagram at In The Clutch SP. And I go by the name of your show, the DJ Swerve De Niro. And I go by the name of M Dollars. And I go by the name Coach G. Uh-oh, I'm, let, me, let, me be, let me be cool, Swerve De Niro. You know what I mean? Let me, let me, let me be cool, Swerve De Niro right now. Bucket low like... Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be cool like the Blue Bloods, but the Blue Bloods, we're talking about as far as... uh. NCAA basketball. I want to oh. be. I want to be as cool as them because I was. Shout to St. Peter's though. I know they, they took that L and and we got the blue blood the blue bloods matchup Uh-oh. coming up. Talk to them inside the NCAA. So we kind of excited for that. I think the game's going down. What this Friday and uh, or Saturday? Saturday. 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 You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So what, what's 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 hot off the wire, Coach G? I mean, well, you know the Final Four is here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the matchups. Uh, the first game is Kansas against Villanova. Who winning that? What's your prediction? I don't know. I mean, that's that's a good one. That's 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 a toss up. I can't call it. It's too early. What bet nap y'all be using though? I mean, MGM. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, uh, what's what's the limit, man? What you putting on it? What's Caesar? <laughs> huh? What's the limit? Well, I mean, yeah. A birdie told me M Dollars got the black card, so whatever he betting. Huh? Then he that, could double my jump. That's so two fifty. That's two thousand fifty cent. Then he bet ten uh, five hundred for me. Now that's two hundred. That's two thousand oh, fifty cent. You know, so you know, okay, he, right he, he he can move. No, he he bets. Y'all both. But you know, the second mm. game is like this is a legendary game between two legendary uh, college programs. Mm. You got Duke versus UNC. Whew. Now this has never happened in the history of you know them both being in the ACC and playing each other. This is the first time that they met in the Final Four. What's um, that? What's so that scene? Clap it up for that. That's, 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 oh, that's, we got clap it up. Got to clap it up for that. That's that's a story. You know, it's a moment right there. You know what I'm saying? They got like 11 championships, uh, uh, you know, together combined. Mm. So this should be a good matchup. And, you know, mm. uh, a couple of the players, you know what I'm saying, uh, we're going to talk about uh, from Richmond, Virginia. Mm. You know, North Carolina got a guy by the name of uh, Armando Bacot. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. You know what I'm saying? But correct me if I'm wrong. But I know he's a big man. He's from Richmond. You know me doing? He's averaging a double-double. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? If you hey, look, if you're in the Richmond area, you gotta support your guys, man. Straight out of home, you gotta support them. Oh yeah, you got to. You know what I'm saying? So but, uh, who next on the bracket? Uh, he averaging 16 and a half and like 13 boys this year, so he a, a nice factor for them. You know what I'm saying? Down low beast. But then Duke, on the other hand, they got a a feed on a freshman, uh, Paolo, uh, but but Chant, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. Let me make sure because I don't want to miss. Oh, we got Paolo, let me see, Paolo Vincero, you know what I'm saying, a freshman. He's from Italy. That's why I messed his name up, forgive me, you know what I mean? But he doing this thing. He averaging 17.7 assists, so he might, you know, be in the contention for freshman of the year, things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? So it should be a good matchup. I'm excited. This has never happened before, historic. All the fans will come out, you know, so whoever the winner goes, to the next round, the loser goes home to watch the winners play in the next round. That's, that's how I go down. Sean, I need, like, this is this gonna be a tough question. I would say five. I would say four. I would say three. But I'm gonna say, say I'm gonna say I right, will say three. Then I was gonna say two. But give me your top three. I don't care how deep you can dig into the computers to go puke for you right now. Your top three NCAA tournament men's or women's matchups of all time. Uh, d- definitely. I'm not gonna say the the champ. Yeah, it was the championship when Michigan played. Uh, was it North Carolina? Yes, when the Michigan played North Carolina, and Chris Webber called the timeout when they had no more left. The five five, they should have won that because they said they would have won that all five of them would have declared for the. Championship. You know what I mean? And they probably would all got picked in the first round coming off a championship, but it didn't happen like that. Chris Webber left. Then you know Jalen Rose and Jawan Howard the next year, and then Jimmy King and Ray Jackson. You know, I mean they left after that. So, All right, so that's but that's one. That's one for me. Number you know two. I mean? Number two. You know, I'm gonna take it back. Let me see. Let me see. When uh, Jordan hit the shot, hmm. you know, what I'm saying I can't remember where they played. You know, my bad. But I just Georgetown, '82. Yeah, the shot. Thank you, swear for that boom. We appreciate that. Yeah. So that's another classic moment. He had the shot, you know what I'm saying? He, he was Mike Jordan then. Mike Jordan. He had hair. He had waves. If you look, 
You, you got a 4K TV, you probably get through the waves, you go to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? He was spending, making them seasick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's another matchup. Let me see. Let me, number, number, one. number three. You said three. I try to give you two, three. but I'm you asked for three, but yeah, you yeah, but you want to give me, he want to give me two, but he asked for three. I got one more. So give me I, three. I, give me three. Yeah, you know, I your, got your third. I, the third one your is triple. Uh, Triple is now, you know, none other than Bubba Chuck when they played at the Richmond Coliseum. Mm. I wasn't fortunate enough to go to that game. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. You know what I, mean? uh, I believe Darvin Ham was in that tournament. I mean, in that that was that was the first round too. Uh, Big Country Reeves was in there. I think that was Oklahoma State. I forgot Darvin Ham squad, but I know he was in there too. You know what I'm saying? And then AI with Georgetown. You know, John Thompson did a big thing, getting him out of out of jail, prison, whatever. You know what I'm saying? With the situation. With the whole bowling out incident, you know what I'm saying? So he gave him a second chance in life. And now Allen Iverson is a Hall of Famer, one of the best to ever do it. So whoever thought that a guy that was in jail, he got a chance from John Thompson, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. Real, I feel uh, like. And then, and was he granted clemency too? I think Wilder, Douglas Wilder, you know what I'm saying, did something. He was a governor at the time. He made some moves, some calls, and, uh, you know, made the connection to Guy Iverson about it there. And then uh, John Thompson. You know, he threw John Thompson the alley with basically, and he, you know, caught it two handed, and then the rest is history. Okay. Out of Iverson, go down one of the best to ever do it. What you got? Stake in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Notification gang. Hey.